question one then from the 2015 You Hire Paper 1, a starter for two marks. Here we go. These two vectors are perpendicular. Determine the value of this component, T. Well, there are two ways of working out the scalar product. There's what it says. It's a product of their lengths. It's the length of one times the length of the other, but only the product of the lengths that go in the same direction as one or other of them. In other words, it's the product of the projection of one length against the other one. So that if in fact they're perpendicular, the scalar product must be zero because none of this vector goes along this direction. The other way is to take the product of the corresponding components and add them together. And that's what you'll be doing here. So first of all, the statement, u is perpendicular to v if u dot v equals zero, if the scalar product's zero. You might think that's the first mark, but it's not until you put the figures in. Now here you have the vectors as multiples of the base unit vectors. There's no need to write them out in component form because quite clearly the numbers are there in front of you. Remember, I stands for one step in the x direction. J stands for one step in the y direction. K stands for one step up in the z direction. So what we've got, u dot v would be 8 times negative 3, x times the x, plus 2 times t, the y times the y, plus, and that's a negative 1, don't put down negative k, a negative 1 times a negative 6, and that's equal to 0, and that's the first mark. Well, near enough, it actually has these numbers worked out, but that would be the first mark, because it's now just a case of tidy that up. So we've got negative 24 plus 2t plus 6 is 0. 2t, bringing that over, that's negative 18, bringing it over is 18. And then t divided by 2 is 9. And that's the second mark. And it's all very straightforward as far as the marking is concerned. Nice little two marks to start off with.